Hey, welcome to the Farming Sims channel and today I am on Stone Valley. I'm using Stone Valley as a test map today uh, for precision farming. This is not a precision farming tutorial as such. There are plenty of uh, great YouTube channels that uh, are for Farming Simulator that have explored uh, precision farming and have broken it down to explain it. This is the equipment I've set up to use for this test and this is basically the end of the test. Uh, what we have is is three fields and I've run the test in base game and I have three fields that I've purchased, field six, seven, and eight. They are almost fully grown. The uh, fruit types are, six is uh, canola, seven is soybeans, and eight is wheat. Uh, what you'll notice is, is that uh, when you go into precision farming, the field info gives you expected yield potential. And I've been wondering if that is based on uh, the base game uh, with, you know, it, without, without precision farming installed. So in this case, field six should give me 110% and field seven is not that great at 89% and 89% for field eight. Uh, in precision farming, um, I have already prepared all of the fields. Now, the middle one is soy, and it doesn't want fertilizing soy. So it's showing the nitrogen level wants to be at zero, but in fact, it's actually at 20 and 40 in some cases. So I, it's not a perfect field, and it's very difficult in precision farming to get a, a perfect field for your nitrogen, for your for your fertilization state. But uh, in both six and eight, they they have been uh, fertilized correctly, and all of them have their pH has been done. So I've limed uh, all three fields, and they've been done correctly as well. Now, before I loaded up Precision Farming, I had run exactly the same three fields in the base game, and I fully uh, fully fertilized the three fields, no plow state, they'd been limed, and so they were at um, maximum yield capacity for, for each of the fields, and they're sitting in the silo at the moment. Um, I'm not sure the video quality is good enough to read, but 75,000 for the wheat, 56,000 for the canola, and 48,000 for the soy. So uh, where I'm at at the moment is is I'm ready to harvest. And uh, and what I really want to see is is what do I get from exactly the same field in, in what I would call... Uh, a perfect state or what the game calls a perfect state so when you look at the field info here you'll see that uh, the pH value and the nitrogen value is perfect and that's the case right across the field um, and the same for field six but when we look at the soy field we won't get that what we'll get is nitrogen will be bad in some parts now perfect even at 20 is okay but it's that area down the down this end of the field i believe where the nitrogen level picks up to 40 and um i'll get a bad reading um in in some areas so it's not per even though it gives me a rating of perfect it's not actually perfect and there was a little spot here there we go um it, it flashed up for a second as bad. Uh, and so, here we go. It's still saying perfect. 
Um, I wouldn't call it perfect. It should be on zero. But in, in some places it's registering it as, as perfect. And in other places it flashes up bad every now and then. So I pick soy in, in one of the fields intentionally because it doesn't actually require fertilization. And I wanted to see if it came up as, as bad. And there we go, there's a spot. Um, it's saying, well, that's freaking out there. It's saying that um, it needs 180. Well, that's not true. It needs zero. So I think that there's a spot here that's bugging out slightly. Um, it's still saying it's soybeans. Uh, well, it just uh, it updates, doesn't it? it? If I leave it there for a second, does it fix itself? No. So... It, it it is a little buggy at the moment. Um, it is showing in in some areas. It's not showing the right. Maybe it's just the way I was looking, the angle that I was looking at. I might have been looking too far away. But uh, so uh, I sold everything on the the starting farm, and I bought uh, my favourite in-game tractor. It's uh, the Fent 1050. And I've used this to plow, to to plant. I have my planting rig here, extra seed, extra liquid fertilizer on the back. And I bought this for carting. Uh, I didn't I didn't bother uh, buying a, a semi trailer. The the whole um, I, I could use the the three fence. Um, I had three plows. I have a fertilizer and a lime um, uh, spreader. There's a fertilizer in there. I did make uh, some slight adjustments to the map itself. I put in a bigger silo, even though I don't really need it, but this one's kind of crazy. I've never used it before, and just for a bit of fun, I, I put this one in. This is the, the wood silo. It holds... Uh, is it 10 million? I also put in the Edge Grain Express fill point. It just lets me fill with uh, lime and fertilizer instead of traveling back and forth from the, the shop. Uh, I put a liquid fertilizer over here. Uh, let me fill up here at the farm with liquid fertilizer. Uh, the map comes with uh, fuel, uh, so I didn't have to worry about that. And it also comes with seed. So I also didn't have to worry about that. Uh, here's the scout, which I did all of my um, soil samples with. Uh, 70 soil samples all up for the three fields. And uh, I was I was going to record all of the prep, but I thought it's a test video, and uh, I don't I don't really need um, uh, everything recorded. I you can you can see what I've done, um, and um, if you've played, if this is uh, if you're brand new to Farming Simulator World, this this video probably isn't going to help you that much. Um, but uh, you know, it's it's not designed as a tutorial for precision farming. Uh, it's really just designed just. I'm recording it because uh, I'm interested in it. I'm interested to see where they get the 110% from or the 89% and see whether that's actually true. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm expecting the... I'm, I'm expecting the growth to, to spawn here in a minute. I've got uh, plant growth set to fast. So uh, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to advance time... Um, it'll, it probably should go around about one o'clock, I think. It's um, 9 a.m. I've just uh, woken up from uh, from sleep, and it's the morning. On uh, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. There'll be no rain, hopefully, and I'll be able to crunch through this, harvest these three fields, and um, and I, I'll be able to compare uh, exactly what we're 
what we're doing in uh, so what I might do is not start with the wheat uh, I kind of started with the wheat with with everything and work my way down but uh, seeing we're waiting a second here oh there's a crash what was that the sign the sign is uh, So there'll be some noise in the background. I only just started my channel. I'm a console player. I'm in my living room. Uh, I live on a farm. It's an animal farm. So uh, we breed a whole heap of different animals. And you'll probably hear the dogs especially. Um, maybe some birds in the background. Maybe some family. Um, it's the evening here um, from Australia weather is beautiful here at the moment we're in autumn so i might start from this far end and uh and work my way up we're coming up to 12 30 it should pop in the next hour or oh, am i going to be able to squeeze through these two yeah there we go all right so uh to make life easier for me i did have some fast farming um help uh, I had the front attacher on my planter that lets me um, seed at the speed that I want to. Here we go, we need to unfold. Let's move that out of the way. What do we got here? It's uh, it's one third. Um, I'm thinking it's got to pop now. Um, I'm thinking one o'clock it should have. Sometimes it gets delayed a little, so it must be two o'clock then. I must have my timing wrong. Uh, let's slow this down. Is this two o'clock it's going to do it? Hmm, it's tricking me out a little bit here. There we go. Okay, let's go back to real time. There we go. All the fields are set to harvest, not just mine. Uh, all right, so we're, we're ready to go here. I've got uh, the tool height for harvester on so I can actually fast harvest as well this is uh, you know just helps me for today I mean I like to use this but not when I'm playing realism if I'm if I'm trying to play more of a realistic farm game um, I tend not to use it uh, but for today we'll have a bit of fun with it uh, so here we go. Um, we're harvesting away at canola on field six. Now what I might do is jump ahead and show you, you guys uh, the end result at each field. Okay, so uh, we finished harvesting the canola field and we have 66,994 litres from the field. And when we compare that to the base game yield, it is significantly higher. The base game yield for canola was, let's get on the road here, and we'll bring this back to the farm. Put cruise control on. We'll just quickly flick across and have a quick look here. Canola was 56,350 canola in base game. That was fully, fully fertilized, uh, uh, plow state removed, limed, and double fertilized. Now, if I put this in the silo, it will join the two of them together and I don't really want that at this point and I do have some money left over from my original purchases so under trailers we'll we'll do this again and in this case we'll leave the colors as the standard colors uh, the extension is not that one and then it goes back to the top. Don't you love that? 
that went back to the standard. So we want standard extension and it costs 24,000. So it's very cheap compared to uh, its storage capacity. One of the other reasons why I chose this map was that I could uh, reset any equipment I purchased straight to the farm and not have to do a lot of transportation of vehicles backwards and forwards, picking up items. So um, that's another reason why I chose uh, Stone Valley. Um, sort of fit perfectly as a test map for me anyway. Okay, so we've got uh, 80,000 litres here capacity and we'll go and harvest the soy field. Now, uh, going back to the canola for a second, uh, it was 66,994, so let's call that 67,000 litres. And what we what we got from the base game was 56,350. Now uh, I could break my calculator out here, but I was expecting 110% as the maximum yield. That's what uh, the uh, the uh, yield info for this field is. So let's just review that for a second before we move on to the next one um, so again it told us that the expected yield is 110 percent if everything's perfect it's the most you'll get out of it but uh, and here it tells me that the yield is 66,000 998 and uh, if you if you look at the difference then then 10 percent extra should have been an extra 5600 if you add 5600 on to the 56,000 that is 62,000 so I was expecting a yield here of 62,000 for canola. And what I got was not 6,000 more, but 10,000 more. Um, and so the numbers, as, ex as I suspected, are not quite right. In fact, the yield is much higher than um, what the field info is telling me that how high it should be okay so we're coming to uh, the end of the soy harvest the field is done and I will go and get the trailer let's uh, let's pipe that out and So I can tell you that we've already got 45,000 here. Now, this is what I find really interesting. I'm going to throw this up and quickly look at 48,171 was our base game harvest for soy. 48,000. And this field tells us that our expected crop yield well no that one's full what are you doing our expected yield on this field is 89 percent what that tells me is that i just uh got a, a crop yield that is much higher. How much higher? Well, 48,000 to 63 is 14, 15,000. 
15,000 litres more on a field that said was perfect. It was close to. And with the, the soil problem, no, we don't want to drop off one. We want to drop off both. With the soil problems that were, were on this field, it said the best I could get was 89%. Well, okay, with... Um, now, I don't want... Um, I don't want a straw. I do not want a straw swath. So let's just have a quick look at this. I'm pretty sure it will spray it. Yeah, okay. And we'll start our third field, which is uh, wheat. Now, just recapping, um, our our first field of canola gave us around about an 18% increase off the top of my head just with just a, a estimate and the soy which oh by the way the canola should have been 10% uh, extra but it was more like 18% extra the soy should have been 11% down at only 89% of a maximum yield and it is around about 30% higher than the base game yield. Now that that was without fertilizing because um, soy doesn't require any fertilization in precision farming. So I am saving um, a significant amount of money especially if it's a big field of soy and look if we're going to play on big American farms and you want to do field 29 over there, um, what do you want to put in it? You want to, you want to put uh, a money crop in there? Well, most people would, would think that the money crop is soy, so that's what they would put in there. And that field is, is massive, so the amount of, of money spent and time spent doing a double fertilization state in base game uh, on a field that size with soy would be quite expensive and time consuming. Now in precision farming obviously there is a time consumption on uh, on taking your soil sample but once you've done it uh, a couple of times it, it is quite easy. Uh, you get the hang of it. Uh, it didn't take me that long to, to punch out 70 soil samples on the, um, you know, it would have been a lot longer than um, probably, actually, probably around about the same time as doing a fertilization state. Around about, give or take. Um, did I put the pipe out? I bet I didn't. Amateur hour here. Yeah, I missed putting the pipe out. All right. get in on this side uh, so I had just assumed that whatever the base game yield was that percentage was was based off that and it quite clearly isn't I don't know what it's based off but it isn't based off what base game is um, generic. Well, what's this? I didn't need three trailers. This wheat has actually done what the game has said it's going to do. It's produced less. Well, the, there you go. Um, we might have trouble hitting 75,000 here. Okay, let's pipe that back in. Now, I didn't miss any, right? I don't have a big patch up the back there or something. No. So wheat has a very high yield rate, typically speaking, just as a crop. That's why it's so so low for the sell price, obviously. 
because uh, it produces twice as much as what you know soy does, for example. But um, in this case, that's not it. That's 71,923. Wow. Okay, so uh, 71,929 it says there. And uh, we got 75,461. Well, 72, that's 3,400. We're down 3,400. And as a percentage of uh, 75,000, well, it's about 5%. So we're down about 5%. Now, it, it says that we should be down by 11% because it's uh, the maximum yield is 89% on this field. So um, we're not down as high as what uh, precision farming says we are but we are down just not as far down as what the game was telling me let's uh, disconnect that for a second well that pretty much completes the test to be honest uh, we've made a much higher yield rate than the base game by playing precision farming 